One of the coolest features that we have on AppSec Engineer is also our newest feature, which is challenges. Now, challenges essentially is meant for people who want to push the boundaries, who want to really get deep in terms of their understanding of a particular problem, right? And of course, figure out how to fix it. And our challenges are geared towards those sort of people. So our challenges are pretty much like our labs, except that there is an element of challenge attached to it. You are going to be given some vulnerable code or some kind of a vulnerable environment, and you have to go ahead and figure out what that is in the first place and figure out how to fix it. And that's going to be an important part of actually solving the challenge. Now, each challenge comes with some hints, as you can see. So if you, if you can't figure it out immediately, you can ask for some hints, right? So you can get some random hints that you get from the challenge, right? So that's how it works. Now, the challenge is going to give you not much clue as to what it's actually doing. But once you're dropped into that environment, you are going to be given uh, the code and the necessary, uh, necessary dependencies that you need to actually fix it. What else? Once you are done fixing it, you can validate whether you've actually fixed it correctly. And if you have fixed it correctly, our automated validation will tell you whether you have fixed it and will give you something called a challenge completion code. If you have successfully fixed something, our validation will tell you that, hey, this is, uh, you have actually fixed it. This is your challenge completion code. And once you have your challenge completion code, you can enter it and you will get a special badge for solving that challenge. So it gives you a sense of achievement. At the same time, it teaches you something very interesting about the subject you're learning. In this case, it's a Kubernetes challenge. So you're gonna learn a lot more about Kubernetes because you are solving this particular challenge. So let's go ahead and actually see how the challenge works. As always with AppSec Engineer, you are gonna provision a lab environment. Now this uh, is gonna give you a dedicated lab system on the cloud that you can access entirely on the browser. You don't need to leave your browser. All you have to do is wait about 30 to 60 seconds and you have a fresh lab environment available to you to actually access and get started with your challenge. And you do have some challenge instructions, as you can see. Most of the time, the challenge instructions don't give you uh, the actual solution, obviously. The, otherwise, it wouldn't be a challenge, would it? So they don't give you any kind of a solution. But once you are ready or once you think you're done fixing, all you have to do is run this particular program and it will tell you whether you've actually fixed it or not. If you have not fixed it, you will not get the challenge solve code. But if you have, you will get the challenge validation code, which you can enter here. Now our lab is ready to run. So let's go ahead and actually look at solving our challenge. So this is our challenge environment. It looks exactly like the lab environment, as you will see. Now, you will see that we have a pod spec. So the, since this is a Kubernetes challenge, obviously, you're going to be looking at some YAMLs that are uh, Kubernetes manifests, right? So in this case, it seems to be a pod-based manifest. There must be something terribly wrong with this manifest, or otherwise, it wouldn't be the way it is, right? Now, let's see whether we can, we have actually solved it or whether we have actually done anything. Or let's say I edit something and whether we have solved it, right? So let's say I change the namespace. Maybe I call it so new service or something like that. Whether I have changed the namespace and whether it actually works by changing the namespace. So you see that I've saved this. Now let's, I, I run my validation code to see whether I've actually fixed it. And you will see that, oops, you have not fixed it. It has not worked. So as a result, you don't have a challenge that is properly completed. If you had fixed it, our challenge would have said that it, it is actually working correctly and you get a challenge solved for. Now, I'm not going to give you the solution to this challenge. You're going to have to just figure it out for yourself. So you are going to have to run this challenge and figure it out. And you're going to have to actually fix the vulnerable or vulnerable issue to actually figure out what is wrong with this particular Kubernetes manifest. Now, challenges are things that we have in multiple different abstractions. So we have AWS challenges, we have Kubernetes challenges, we have AppSec and secure code review challenges. We are coming out constantly with a whole bunch of new challenges all the time that gives you a way to really amp up and level up your skills in terms of your understanding of all of these different subjects. And what more, you can start showcasing your challenge badges to all 
you can start sharing it on LinkedIn and you can say that, look, I have really taken my learning in all of these areas to the next level. And it happened because you have access to AppSec Engineer. So don't miss out on access to challenging. All you have to do is get a subscription to AppSec Engineer and you have access to all of these challenges and more that we will release over time. Thank you very much for watching. I look forward to seeing you in another video.